Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the products I've probably spent the most money on, repurchased the most amount of times, and some of these products I've probably repurchased at this point 15 times, some of them a little bit less, some of them maybe even more. So, uh, for one person, something they repurchase often, if you maybe if you lived in a humid, sunny climate regularly or spent a lot of time outside or worked outside, maybe it'd be sunscreen. Uh, for somebody with acne, very acne prone skin, it might be uh, tretinoin or a certain type of retinoid. So what one person right, might repurchase might be totally different from the next person. And me living in Minnesota where we maybe see the sun like three months out of the year, I do use sunscreen every day, but by the time I typically finish one up, I'm on to test a new one. So there really aren't any sunscreens I've repurchased several times over and over again. I guess a NASA would be a brand I've repurchased for sunscreen a lot, but there's no actual specific sunscreens from them I've repurchased a lot. So I'm just going to start off with probably what I believe is the product I've purchased the single most amount of times, and that is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. A lot of people love this one. A lot of people don't like it so much. They don't find it hydrated enough. I use it with a lot of layers. And I, I'm going to have to go through my email history. I've probably repurchased this 15, 20 times now. So it, it'll be interesting to see if I can calculate that. It's sold at so many different stores. So sometimes I purchase at Yes Style. Sometimes I purchase at Ulta. Sometimes maybe it'll be on sale at uh, Wish Trend. I, so anyway, but I've repurchased one a significant amount of times. I love how hydrated it is. And no evening skincare routine feels complete without this in it. It just doesn't. Uh, even if I don't feel like I need another layer of hydration, I add this one in because of its soothing and calming and peptide ingredients. So anyway, repurchase that one a lot. Next up, uh, the Ordinary Buffet Copper Peptide version, which they just changed the name of this one too, which will probably take me another two years to start to remember the new name of it. But uh, to be honest, it might not be this specific product, but I love copper peptides. They are just amazing for your skin. And they are actually, I've been uh, looking at buying just the powder copper peptides and seeing if I could make something with it. And they're actually a very expensive ingredient. So to be able to get something this affordable is uh, wonderful. Niode has several copper peptide products that are absolutely wonderful as well. I believe 1% uh, is the standard amount for anti-aging, but I believe in topical products they can go up to 2%. So uh, I love this product. I love copper peptides. I love peptides in general. I think this is a really wonderful anti-aging product after I do, uh, after I go see my esthetician, she does uh, micro needling. I use this uh, and it really is wonderful. Or sometimes after I use my laser, one of my lasers, I'll use this and it's just wonderful. It is a fussy, fussy, fussy ingredient. It doesn't play well with others, but it's worth it if you could maybe figure out a way to add it in your into your routine because it really doesn't play well with vitamin C and it doesn't really play well with all, some of the exfoliants and things like that, but it is a lovely ingredient. Uh, next up, this one, I bet this one's right up there with the Claire's. However, the bottle of this one is gigantic and it lasts a long time or the tube it used to, or the tub it used to come in, the Casarex uh, snail what do they call it? The snail all-in-one cream. It used to come in the tub. If you want it in the tube, I picked this one up from Casa Rex's website directly. I think it was just CasaRex.com or it might have been CasaRexUS.com. So they're selling it there. Ulta has a bottle of this, but it's I believe it's 50 milligrams instead of 100, so it's half the size. Uh, I will try and link to one of those below, but this stuff is wonderful. This one, again, to me is kind of like the Claire. It's like no evening routine feels uh, complete without it in there. It just really adds some nice hydration and I put it on. Typically it's the very last product I put on. It soaks in as I sleep and really feels nice, calming, and hydrating. And uh, anyway, there's just nothing else that it just, there's nothing else that I've really found that really compared to it. There's a lot of other snail products, uh, but maybe I should do a top 10 favorite snail products. There's a lot of good ones out there, but this still happens to be my number one favorite, but there's a lot of other good ones out there that might be worth a try. Okay, so back in the day when I really first got into skincare and this product came out, it caused a flurry of consumerism or purchasing or I don't know. It just caused a flood of excitement. That's the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. I've repurchased this more times than I even want to calculate in my head because I know how much it costs. 
but I, I was going through it really fast for a long time, and now uh, I don't go through it as fast because I found other products I really like that are just as good but much more affordable. Uh, let me grab one of those. Uh, the Neogen High R Exosome Cream, in my opinion, is the best alternative to it. Uh, I just love this stuff. So, but this stuff wasn't around five years ago when this stuff was, and this stuff just really was wonderful. It fit into my routine well. It didn't cause breakouts. It really had some nice anti-aging bonus effects. However, uh, I don't know. I, I'm convinced they changed something with the formula somewhere because this product foams up when I apply it almost over anything. So I don't know what changed, or maybe it's just fresher packaging and it's reacting more. I don't know, but became too fussy to work with, so I don't really use it very much. Because if any of you have watched me for years, you would see my empties. Like every month there'd be one of these in there, and now I really... I've fallen a little bit out of love with it because of how fussy it became and expensive compared to some other dupes I've found. Next up, I've got the Isentree Aloe Soothing Gel. I love using this one on my neck. Sometimes I'll use it on my body if it's red or irritated. What This is the moisture type. They also have a fresh type, which is also wonderful. If you have drier skin, the moisture type is geared towards you. If you have oilier skin, the fresh type apparently is geared towards them. I've used both of it, and they're both lovely, and I really enjoy using this one. Typically, I've used a lot of it on my neck or body, but my neck really used to really dictate its own skincare routine, and I think it's becoming more hardy or more more acclimated to other products because it's not as irritating and a lot of times now I can use on my face now on my neck as well but for years I could not mix the two because anything if a vitamin c drop got on my neck it would burn but now it's not that same way but this stuff is still lovely and it's so ridiculously affordable for how great the ingredients are it's crazy it's crazy man okay next up I've got for an exfoliant this is one I've repurchased a ton of times I've moved on a little bit lately onto some of the Geek and Gorgeous uh, liquid exfoliants, which are wonderful. They have three different formulas. They're all great. But for uh, several years, this was my go-to, the Polish Choice 4% pore refining treatment. It's got 4% salicylic acid, which is a ton. Usually most products are 2%. 4% is a little bit stronger. But salicylic acid really helps with blackheads, prevents breakouts, and things like that. If you have super sensitive skin, 4% might be a little harsh. But if you've used other products with 2% in them without any issue, 4% is probably not going to be terrible, but it is quite a high percent. But this stuff is just lovely, no fragrance in it, proper pH, very effective, and never really irritated my skin. But I did start out at lower exfoliants before I started using this stuff. But ah, it's great. Paul's Choice makes some great exfoliants, and no matter what you think of the brand, they do. They just That's their specialty, and they're really good at it. Okay, next up, I've got the Stratus Skin Liquid Gold in the giant, most giant tube I've ever seen. This is four ounces of just liquid loveliness. This is so hydrating, so calming. I don't use it as much in the summer and spring, but fall and especially winter, I use this daily, especially in my evening routine. It just so is so hydrating, full of good ingredients, rosehip oil, and it's just, it's lovely. It's super calming to my skin. Uh, for super oily or acne prone skin, do a little bit of digging first or check out my review of it. But otherwise, it is lovely, it's wonderful, and now that they come in a giant four ounce tube, it's super affordable. What other uh, niacinamide, sea buckthorn, fruit oil, which is amazing, panthenol, squalane, uh, and then ceramides, it's wonderful. I love it, couldn't be without it. So if you have ever dealt with uh, dull skin or hyperpigmentation or melasma, post-acne uh, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, sunspots, whatever you want to call it, if you've ever dealt with uneven skin tone, uh, the Regimen Lab Level Serum is amazing. It's full of amazing ingredients. It really has helped brighten my skin up and kind of take it to the next level. Uh, Azelaic Acid also helped with that, but this one was a really great product to add, and I've repurchased it multiple times. It's nice, liquid texture. It soaks in nicely. It fits into your routine really easily without having to fuss around with too much with it, and it's pretty affordable, and a little bit of it goes a long way, and it lasts a long time. So this stuff is lovely. Uh, the Regimen Lab, it's got the one with the green cap on it. They also have the Vitamin X Serum, which has the red top, but this is the Level Serum with the green top. It's awesome. If you have hyperpigmentation and haven't tried it, give it a whirl. 
Okay, on to, I think this is my first mention of the brand, but this is a brand I spend a lot of money on because I purchase a lot of their products and have yet to find one product that I dislike. And that's the Geek and Gorgeous. And this is the Seaglow Serum, which is their vitamin C serum. This stuff is wonderful. I'm using it right now underneath my moisturizer and sunscreen. It's just, it's great. They make it fresh. So uh, it always arrives clear. And this bottle has been open for a while. It's still very clear. And uh, I can't say enough good things. It's super affordable. In my opinion, this is, uh, I think if I had to choose between this and SkinCeuticals, I'd probably choose this. Uh, just all things being equal because I know this is going to be fresh. I know it's going to last a long time. SkinCeuticals has been having some issues with products arriving oxidized lately. If you're spending $200 on a product and it arrives old, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Especially when they're making, probably, they're probably making $170 a bottle when they sell it for $180. So anyway, don't get me started on that. But this stuff is wonderful. It's got all the same ingredients, ascorbic acid. It's wonderful for your skin. It contains a sweet spot of 15%, and the pH of this stuff is right where you want it to be. It is wonderful. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend giving it a try because I love it, love it, love it. And I've tried dozens of vitamin Cs. Okay, for a hydrating serum, I'm really enjoying this stuff, the Hygiene Natural Repair Serum. It contains several different types of ginseng in here. I love that you can get this in the giant size. This is also four ounces. I started out purchasing the smaller size a couple times and really liked it. And then I purchased the big size, which is taking me a while to go through, which is great. But it's got a wonderful gel texture. It really applies well. It soaks in without looking greasy. And it feels hydrating at the same time, but not greasy feeling or looking or anything. It's also, uh, if you get on sale, it's pretty affordable. And a bottle like this, when I use it twice daily, it lasts me, I'd say, three months, four months. Uh, one pump of it with the nice texture is enough to cover my whole face. I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, I know I've talked about it a lot, but give it a try if you haven't because there's nobody I cannot see not being happy with this. It just works so great. There's no fragrance in it, and uh, it's great for sensitive skin. And uh, last but not least, for an eye cream, I've tried a lot of eye creams. I've probably tried hundreds of them. Well, I've probably, I've probably tried maybe close to 100, maybe. Some of them really expensive, some of them upwards of $100, some of them uh, downwards $10, $15. Out of all of them, this is my favorite, the Cosrx Snail Peptide Eye Cream. It retails around $20, $25, depending on where you pick it up. It's lovely. The bottle is large. It's just under an ounce. It's 0.84 ounces or 25 milliliters. And the nice thing with this is you can use it on your eyes. You can use it in your eyelid. You can also use it on dry patches, areas of your face that you want to give a little bit of extra moisture to. So this stuff, if you haven't tried it, again, I just recommend giving it a whirl. It's just so lovely. And I guess I had one hair product on here that I've repurchased a lot. So if you tend to have a dry scalp or itchy scalp, this stuff really turned it around for me. Uh, the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density, I found this stuff to be really lovely. Uh, Non-greasy, I just apply a little bit, a couple drops to my part right after showering and it soaks in and feels nice, no hydrate, no dandruff, any itchiness, dryness, or anything like that. It really helped make a huge difference there. So now I don't use it as often. I think my scalp has gotten whatever rebalanced, uh, but I use it maybe once a week, and it really is nice. During the winter, I'll use it more. Right now it's summer. I don't really have any as many issues with dryness, but uh, during the winter, I use it usually every other, every other shower. So it's really lovely, lovely product overall. So... Anyway, out of all the products I've tried, these are the ones I've repurchased the most, spent the most on. Well, I guess there's probably a couple of products I've spent more on because they're ridiculously expensive, but uh, but I haven't repurchased them a ton like these. So in my opinion, these products, uh, I think most people should probably try once because if they work so great for so long for my weird skin, which is dry, sometimes oily, sometimes flaking, sometimes peeling, uh, sometimes breakouts. Uh, I think they could probably work well for most people. So check them out. Interested in hearing from you guys what products you've repurchased the most. So leave a comment because now I'm really more interested in what you guys are purchasing because maybe there's something I'm missing out on. I know there is, so let me know. Anyway, okay, thank you so much, guys. I will see you more tomorrow. Bye-bye.